Hello everyone, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the new feature that ChatGPT has just launched, which is ChatGPT Tasks. And this is a feature that allows you to ask ChatGPT to perform specific tasks at particular times that you set yourself. So in this video, we're going to be trying out this feature together and deciding whether it is worth all the hype. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is come up here to where you can see the chat GPT model and you'll be able to find GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. So you're going to select that. And once you've selected that, you'll see that it now appears at the top of your screen and it's currently available for the paid accounts, pro users, team plans, and it will soon be rolled out to free accounts. And once you've clicked on that, you've got the main interface here and you can start off by asking it to perform any task that you want. So I've just added a task here that says, provide me with the latest news and practical updates on AI at 9 a.m. every day. I'm going to enter that. And what you'll see is that it's now set a task that says provide AI news updates daily at 9 a.m. And this is actually amazing because I want all the summaries and stories and latest events sent to me without me having to set up a whole load of RSS feeds. So what this task will do is that will do the search for me and send me latest information. And you'll see here that once I entered this task, it says turn on desktop notifications. We're going to talk about that, which basically will allow ChatGPT to send desktop notifications to your computer to remind you of that particular task. Now, once we've created that task, we can come over here to where it has the three dots and you'll see that you have an option to edit. You can pause or you can view all tasks. So I'm just going to come over here to where it says edit and you'll see that you can change the name. I'm just going to call it here AI News Updates and you can set your own instructions as well. So what I've done here is I've come over to ChatGPT and I asked it to write me some instructions for ChatGPT tasks and this is what it came back with. Search focus, search daily for the most recent and relevant news related to the following topics. And I specified the topics that I wanted. So agentic AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, large language models, and so on. And you can specify any kinds of topics or sources that you want. It could be from academic publications, company blog, format of the report. And it's, this is nice as well because I have the report in a specific format. So it gives it to me in a headline. I've got the source, I've got the key points, I've got the relevance. And then I've said here, special notes, focus on the practical applications, break breakthroughs. So you can really specify style of the task that you want, the format of the task, and so on. And once you've done that, we can then schedule it. So here you can schedule it daily, weekly, monthly, annually, or you can actually come to custom here and you can specify if you want a special time. For example, do this every three weeks on Tuesday or a time that is suited for you. So once you've added all this information, you can just save it. And now it's stored in all the information. So if you come up here to where you've got your profile, you'll see that you can now select tasks. And if you select that, it will show you a list of all the tasks that you have created. Okay, so now let's just have a quick look at what happens when it's completed the task. So if I go now here to my email, and then I've got the update on the task and it will open something like this. It will show you that it's now completed the task. It will have a button that says view the message. And once you click on that, it will take you to the list that it has generated. So in my case, it's come back with the latest news updates as of January 16th, 2025. So I've got US implements new AI export controls, targeting China, giving me the source, which is wired, key points, and then the relevance as well, like I specified. And then you can see here, Stroll AI partners with AFP for fact-based chatbot. This is from the Financial Times. We've got Google tests, AI generated podcasts from user search history. And what you can see, it's given me the list of sources here at the end. And if I click on that, it will open up to the list of sources here on the side. And if I go into any of them, it will open up the source and I can read more information about the new source that I find relevant. And you can see that it's using the search the web functionality while it's returning that information. So like I showed you, the first way was to access it through email. The second way that you can get the information is if you go to your profile again and go to settings, what you'll see is that you have here the notifications. And then what you can do is that you can activate push notifications as well as email notifications. We've already seen how we can access it through email. And push notifications basically means that it allows you to send these notifications on your desktop. And then if I allow this, then I'll get the notification on my desktop as well. So I want to mention a few limitations of ChatGPT tasks. So if we look at the OpenAI page, what they've mentioned is that you can only have 10 active tasks at any time. And if you want to add any new tasks after that, you must delete or pause any existing ones. The other limitation is that because it's currently being developed, borrowing features and tools are not yet supported. So you can't use the voice chats, you can't upload any files, you can't use GPT. So that's another limitation at this stage. So overall, what we can see is that tasks might seem extremely basic 
basic in terms of the functionality and what it gives us. But we are starting the period of AI agents where we're going to be seeing AI do a lot more tasks for us. So this is an exciting first step with ChatGPT. And there's so many use cases for this. You can use it for research projects to give you latest news like we saw here to uh, keep track of financial developments. And you can use it as a reminder for important events that you want to keep on top of. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below, whether you've started using it. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.